Hello friends, it's your monk here. <clears throat> I've got time to do a few more videos. Uh, like I said in my pre in the previous videos, when I've got time, I'll try to fit it in. Uh, I've got a bit less work uh, going on at the temple right now. I'm waiting for a few orders to come through and I'm waiting for some uh, some certain special uh, speciality work to be done that I can't do. So I can't, I'm kind of at a standstill until uh, those things get done. So I'm back to just uh, normal duties at the temple, just normal, <clears throat> normal chores. So I've got an hour um, today, to, a spare hour today to do some more, to do another video. I know I released a video yesterday, uh, but I'll do another one today. And I wanted to talk about, <clears throat> today I wanted to talk about the importance of the development of samadhi or concentration. Right? Now, samadhi and concentration uh, there's many ways, there's many angles. For example, to develop concentration in, in, uh, in, in, in our tradition, uh, the Buddha set forth 40 objects. There's 40 ways, 40 things you can concentrate on, different things. I mean, the main one, <clears throat> the more common one is anapanasati, the um, sati or uh, awareness of the in and out breath, right? And then in uh, our tradition specifically, Particularly, <clears throat> it's mixing the, out, the in and out breath with with Buddha, with reflection on the Buddha. Now, the four uh, guardian meditations are in fact reflecting on the Buddha, uh, reflecting on metta, reflecting on asubang, which is foulness of the body, and reflecting on marana, right, which is death. Okay, so those four things. So there's four objects just right there, and they're also a part of vipassana. Because when you're reflecting, you're investigating. Now, this thing about samatha and vipassana uh, is 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 quite in depth and it's 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 quite elaborate, right? So, uh, you know, I'm not going to go in brief about it. But what I'll just say is that, that that there are these two things. But eventually, once concentration is developed, once once enters a certain state of concentration, um, <clears throat> one needs not to worry about. Uh, Samatha Vipassana anymore because they've, they've kind of merged um, <clears throat> the skills have merged the skills have merged because Samatha is more about uh, making them making the mind uh, kind of laser like so you're just focusing on one thing and you're trying to penetrate it's like archery you're just focusing on the target um, and you're not letting not trying not to let the mind scatter in different directions you're trying to stay focused on the object and now vipassana is different. It's it's more of an investigation, right? Where you're investigating things, you're reflecting on things, you're taking a look at things, you're uh, you're, you're you're trying to uncover and you're, and you're trying to uh, apply a certain mental attention to that particular subject or object. Uh, but in the end, they both kind of cross over. There's there there, there is a, a subtle line between them both. Uh, however. In general, uh, eventually, what happens is as you develop both, as both get stronger and stronger, eventually they become kind of merged. Uh, it's no different to developing certain skills with different tools. Eventually, you start to learn different how to use different tools. Eventually, they kind of merge, but the tools be, are their own tools. They're, 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 they are their your own, own unique tools. This is really important. So, coming back to what I was talking about it originally is concentration so to develop concentration it's not just a matter of or well, the way I see it anyway it's not just a matter of uh, focusing on uh, one thing and that's it there are there are things that need to be developed as well that help when you're not sitting down and concentrating or when you're not doing meditation walking uh, when you're cleaning or when you're working um, or doing other things that uh, need to be done throughout the day so one thing that helps to develop is a dharma I read some time ago. It's in the it's in the uh, in what is it the the connected discourses the Samyutta Nikaya, and the Buddha talks about these two qualities that need to be developed that ought to be developed, and it's being thorough and consistent in everything we do. Now, being thorough and consistent um, are two uh, very staunch qualities in in 
and applications. They're, they're very strong applications. So in, in other words, in whatever you do, no matter how small or how large, you're being thorough and consistent all the time with it. So in other words, you're never giving in, you're never relenting because the consistency teaches us kanti. What's kanti in Pali? It means uh, patient perseverance or the ability not to give up, right? The, the ability to just keep going no matter what, no matter how many times, I was speaking a bit of old Italian language, no matter how many times you get slapped in the face, you just keep, you keep bouncing back, you keep bouncing back. No matter how many hits you take, you just keep bouncing back, you keep bouncing back, you keep bouncing back. And this is crucial, particularly uh, in, in, you know, for the goal. <clears throat> um, you know, Kanti, the Buddha said that's like one of the most important, if not the most important quality. Although I'm not, I don't want to make comparisons between qualities, but it's the Buddha stressed how important patient perseverance is. So patient perseverance is the ability to just keep at whatever it is um, that you're focused on in terms of the worldly uh, dharmas in terms of worldly things so that's helpful but in terms of the spiritual path and st in terms of the noble eightfold path kanti needs to be uh, uh, employed all the time because it gets it gets difficult because it's also not about just sitting and meditating all day there's a lot of factors that come in a lot of conditions you've got to battle many many different difficult situations and so one must one must kind of like uh, let's say uh, <coughs> Uh, resolve not to give up ever so being thorough and consistent are just another two qualities you can add on the pile to develop in the meantime right so like when you're working on something or when you're talking to someone or you're listening to something or you set out to do whatever it is like a little project a big project whether it's just cleaning the house to be thorough and consistent in whatever you do but giving total mental attention to what it is that you're uh, what what to the to the task in front of you and <clears throat> being thorough and consistent over time uh, coupled with sati with awareness but also hiriotapa mental attention right? really good really really staunch mental attention this helps to lead to samadhi when you actually sit down or, or you start to concentrate you want to enter um, the jhanas in the textbook sense i'm not talking about me entering jhana just, just to make sure that people understand, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in a textbook sense, like to enter jhana and to go beyond, there requires a certain level of, uh, I would say, staunch, like powerful concentration. Also power. Power in the sense, see, power is important. Strength is important. And we're not talking just about physical strength. Physical strength is important. And as you get older, you realize more and more how important physical strength is because you, you know, you, you one person, you, know, you can, as you get older, you, you bend over to pick up something and your body's weak and you can you know, cause a lot of problems or you always get sick. So it is important to be healthy and mentally and physically strong. It's important. Right? As Buddhists, you know, it's, there's, not, there's nothing good about being weak, having a weak physical body or having a weak physical mind, a uh, weak mental mind, right? Weak mentality. There's nothing good about it because... As you get older, the body breaks. As the body breaks down, at that point, that is the time where you need your strength as much as possible because you can get sick really easily. So being strong physically uh, uh, is is a good thing. Now, I mean, let's not get carried away. I'm not talking strongman competitions, Ironman competitions, although they're good. Uh, but yeah, talking about a certain balance here, not to let the body get too weak, too weak, right? And so. Uh, even uh, Dr. Jivakor, the Buddha's doctor, said, you know, the monks are getting too weak. You know, they should be doing some some exercise, daily exercise. And he said, you know, I want them to sweep or something, as I, if, if I can remember correctly. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's not good to be too weak. So, but to enter samadhi, there requires a lot of power and strength. Simple, sorry, I keep doing this. <laughs> uh, uh, what you guys don't realize out there is that there's a lot of bugs here. So I'm, that's why I'm always moving because there's a lot of mosquitoes and there's wasps and there's uh, a lot of uh, fruit flies and all kinds of little things that I don't even know and they go up my nose, in my mouth, in my ears and you know they try to bite me so I'm always moving. It's just a little habit I've developed so sorry about that. But coming back to concentration, 
when sitting in samadhi for long periods of time, you need a lot of strength because it gets very painful uh, sometimes, not all the time. I mean, I'm not trying to dictate what happens when you, you the person, are sitting there uh, con uh, practicing concentration because your experience is your experience. It's not my experience, right? So I'm not giving you a notebook. Just saying that what when you sit for long periods of time, it's just natural that the body will ache. I mean, you try laying on the couch you know, on whatever surface and not moving for a period of time. You, you'll see what I'm talking about, right? So when you're sitting, it's no different. Or when you're walking for long periods of time in meditation, it's no different. So the, the stronger you are, the more power you have, the better it is for you. As long as it's in the samaditi, in the right view, in the right view. This is very important. Without that, uh, a lot of people uh, can make the mistake to, um, it's easy to make the mistake to fall into um, micha, micha samadhi, which is wrong samadhi, because the, there's no right view, right? So this is important. But being thorough and consistent are two very good qualities that you can practice at any time, so whatever you do, and give total mental attention and in this case you need a sober mind keeping the mind completely sober uh, and keeping yourself uh, in a state of mental attention that gives rise to just always being thorough and consistent whatever now obsessive is not being thorough obsessive is where you emotionally emancip you, you emancipate emotions you free up a lot of emotions and you become even more scattered being thorough and consistent means more about penetration, means more about really honing in and focusing. Right? Obsession is more of an emotional reaction where you become obsessed with something to the point where you're thinking about it all the time. No, because when you're thorough and consistent in something, the next thing that comes, you're thorough and consistent in that. So you let go of whatever. So whatever task you do, you follow that task. Once that task is completed for the day, then you go on to the next task. Right? So this will help you develop a lot of strength and power. And when when it comes the time to sit down, it, you know, you, you've already warmed up the concentration muscles uh, in, uh, I guess, in, in, in the chitta or in, in, even in the brain. Right? You, you've, you've warmed up, the, you, you've warmed up the, the motor, I would say, of samadhi, the base of it. So when you so when you start to concentrate on whatever object. You've got a good foundation. May you grow in Dharma. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and share with your friends.